Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Thursday the 14th of October 2021. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Chakra Wisdom Tarot by Tori Hartman. Um, okay, friends, just a little heads up that um, there may not be a reading for uh, Friday. I'm um, I'm out tomorrow and it will depend um, when I return home as to whether I have enough time uh, to do a reading for Friday or not. So bear with me on that one. Uh, also, the second heads up, um, I received a letter yesterday um, from the people that own all the gas pipes um, uh, that run along out, outside of all of the, the uh, buildings. And they are coming to replace the pipes um, on the 18th of October all the way through till the 12th of December. Uh, so, you know, that means there's going to be lots of workmen uh, digging up pavement. So that's lots of noise. Um, so I don't know how that's going to work, friends, because I like to do my readings as early in the morning as possible. Um, and I may have to change that and do them in the evening. Um, but leave that all with me. That's just all for me to uh, organise and work out. So uh, <laughs> I can still keep giving these wonderful messages. Right. Talking of wonderful messages, let's start. And our daily inspiration today is from Chakra Love. Raise your crystal vibrations. OK, here we go. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends? For Thursday, the 14th of October. Thank you. OK. Well, we've been given two. OK, your first one. Uh, working on your root chakra, your crystal is snowflake obsidian. Um, safety in the hurricane of life, a strong foundation will keep you safe. OK, well, we've talked a lot about foundations and grounding and earthing. And your next one is heart chakra, <laughs> jade, compassion, resolve your conflicts with compassion. Ooh, okay. So root chakra, heart chakra, snowflake obsidian and jade. Okay, here we go. And let's see what fabulous message spirit has for us for today. Okay, here we go. Thank you. What is the message from spirit? Thank you. OK, as quick as that. <laughs> and where did you want to go? You do want to go there. OK. So your cards are the Queen of Coins. Followed by the Three of Wands. Finishing with Major Arcana, number 11, Justice. OK, friends. Wow. OK, your first card is the Queen of Queens. Queens, they are collectively... <clears throat> Feminine energy, motherly, uh, compassionate, caring, have a certain awareness. Uh, the Queen of Coins, um, very, um, very nurturing, I am hearing. Uh, the Queen of Coins would be um, uh, an absolute fabulous gardener. She really understands about sowing seeds, uh, that there is this buffer of time while the seed is germinating. It's in the soil. You can't see what's actually happening, but you trust. You trust that that seed knows its job. You trust that all of the elements around the seed also know their, their job. Uh, and that eventually that seed's going to 
start growing roots. It start go going to grow a shoot that is eventually going to um, break through the surface of the soil. I am hearing. Um, OK, of course, with the elements, well, we need we need water, but we need sunlight. Um, the sunlight I'm really feeling today, very important around this Queen of Coins. Um, and of course, these the seed. Well, the, the the shoot is attracted to the light. Okay. So the message today I'm hearing from spirit is, keep looking to the light, knowing that even though, here we go again. This is even though we can't see what's going on in the background, we can trust that things are being absolutely um, worked out. Um, and everything is always working out for you, Spirit is saying. Um, OK, let's look now at the card. So the colour, indigo, this is talking of your your third eye chakra. So this is where Spirit is saying to you, you know, although you're looking round in the physical, into the physical reality, um, and it's looking all chaotic, um, and you can't really see... It's almost like we can't see a pattern and that's because the, the patterns with, um, that we were seeing are the old patterns which are gone and we're now making new patterns, new geometric um, shapes if you like. Um, woo, sorry. Um, <clears throat> with these new patterns, we, we, we're just having to trust that, that, that everything is always working out for us even though we kind of can't see it with with our physical eyes in and looking out on reality so using your third eye chakra uh, working on your third eye chakra uh, that wonderful imagination start imagining what you would want your world to look like what you want the new earth to to look and feel like how does it feel how does it feel where everyone's just full of positivity, love, uh, kindness, caring and compassion. How does it feel in a world with no negativity? Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> OK, friends, so I really feel this queen. Um, she has come under the root chakra. So here we're going all the way from root. So making sure that you are before we work and and. and go into this wonderful imagination make sure that you are solid secure um, earthed anchored uh, grounded um, so that when you do open this third eye um, you're kind of not going to get carried away with anything but you are going to be really uh, solid and secure in what you are imag imagining uh, because for what you are imagine imagining um, imaging is what you are bringing into your reality whoa <laughs> whoa wow okay next we have the three of wands and oh, three numerology it's um it's mind, body, spirit it's thought words and thoughts words and actions it's you being your total authentic self this is this is you being in your truth this is what it feels like to be in your truth when you are in your truth nothing else matters everything else kind of falls to the wayside or just magically works out like it should without any interference from you uh, so this card is saying that the job here is for you to Find your truth. This is going into this third eye chakra. And what are you seeing? What is your truth? Where do you see you, yourself being? What are your your passions, your dreams, your goals and desires? Um, OK. So, OK, so let's go to the colour now. And um, this is your sacral chakra, um, the colour around the edge. Um, OK, it's not. I really apologise, friends. It's your solar plexus. OK, thank you, Spirit. Uh, solar plexus, it's yellow, not orange. Um, but we do have kind of shades of orange going on with this. So I do feel that 
because we've kind of skipped the sacral chakra, which is where all of your emotions and feelings reside, this is the, this is the work that you have been doing, friends. So you've been working on that sacral chakra. You've been understanding about feelings and energy and vibration and um you are putting it out there, my wonderful friends. Uh, your your solar plexus, uh, yellow, um, it's where all your positivity resides, where your courage and inner strength reside, where uh, clarity resides, also where happiness, because, you know, with, along with positivity does come happiness. Wow, 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 wow. I feel that there's a lot of... Um, well, ones, it is fire energy. So this is you really feeling the divine spark within you. Uh, you are feeling inspired despite what is going on with this uh, chaotic. Um, I'm going back to the chaos magic from from ye uh, from yesterday. Um, yes, despite all of that that's going on around you, my wonderful friends, you're just forward focused okay oh thank you ruby okay so ruby's saying if you were a rider and you were mounted you are just looking straight between your horse's ears you know where you are going uh, you know what you want and you know exactly how to go and get it because you have been working on the inner you you've been working on <clears throat> the magic part of you your imagination where you know that whatever you are imagining or you know thinking about um is actually uh, becoming your reality um when you put the positive action in i am hearing oh wow 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 <clears throat> okay next we have Major Arcana, number 11, Justice. <sighs> major Arcana, as they speak of your inner world, your inner knowing, your major inner knowledge. 11, Master Builder number, it is the number of illumination. So, feeling very illuminated because, well, Justice, she carries the sword of truth and she carries the scales of of balance, of of integrity, if you like, of honour, of honesty. Um, so this is you being in your truth, being in your, being very honest, being very integral. Um, justice talks, well, it can be in the physical, it can be legal situation. So for some, this may be something around uh, courts, um, lawyers, solicitors, uh, judges, that kind of thing. Um, but if that doesn't resonate you, with you, this is just simply about truth. This is about honesty. This is about justice and ethics. This is about matters of respect I'm also hearing. This is you doing doing the right thing for you. This is you following your truth, I am hearing. Um, okay. So the colour is um, blue. It is your throat chakra. Um, this is where you get to speak your truth out into the world, into the universe. Uh, blue, um, well, it's the colour of the sky, it's the colour of the sea. Um, you are connected to both, I am here, and this is more of this you being this wonderful conduit between heaven and earth. Uh, of course, it's also the colour of trust, it's loyalty. Um, oh, wisdom I'm also being given. It, it, okay, this is you being really wise, using that wise side of yourself. Um, okay. And I'm being asked to do this as well, friends, now. So this is you having a wonderful open heart, coming from this heart centre. You are resolving all of your conflicts with compassion, with honesty, with truth, with integrity, with, in oh, sorry, friends, with integrity. Whew, OK, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> OK, next we will have... A Secret Language of Colour by Inner Seagal. Oh, wow. So 
let's just arrange that friends and there we are and your secret language of <laughs> well we've had jade there with with um your your crystal or your gemstone for today <clears throat> excuse me and we have jade as a color uh take action 32 well three and two becoming number five which is the number of conflict crisis chaos but it's also transformation and change and oh boy am i i'm seeing the change friends and um oh i'm really drawn to this green your heart chakra um look how it is expanding and growing oh wow friends wow 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 okay so you are taking action today this is this three of wands this is this fire energy and fire energy is action but i feel that you are now so in your truth um and you really, it's not that you don't care because, of course, you are kind, caring and compassionate. So, of, of course, you care, but you are not allowing anyone's negativity, whether that's thoughts, words or actions, to pull you from your destiny. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. OK. Jade is a colour of serenity, tranquility, love and nurturing. It creates balance, harmony and self-sufficiency, releasing negativity from your mind and stimulating ideas, making what is complex seem simpler and doable. Jade is a cleansing colour. Allow jade to help you take action and make your life easier. Whatever you have been putting off doing, just do it. Let go of any excuses and take action. Think of what you would love. Surround yourself and your desires with a jade light. Say, I can do this. It's easy. The universe supports my goals and dreams and manifests them into physical reality. I'm so pleased that this has come under this Queen of Coins really calling me about uh, light. Um, and there is the light, friends, uh, just coming through this canopy of trees, of leaves, but it's filtering down. And oh boy, can you feel it? Oh yes, you can. Wow, wow, wow. Whew, okay. So next we will have... Oh, oh gosh friends <laughs> we didn't want that to happen did we oh okay so it was chakra wisdom oracle deck <laughs> however they've all gone on the floor apart from one that stayed i'm going with that friends <laughs> okay so your chakra wisdom oracle card is Oh, wow. So workaholic, um, but I'm really drawn to this uh, palette and the painting. There's a lot of creativity going on here. OK, friends, so workaholic. <clears throat> and is. Oh, sorry, friends, let's just get to the right page. So the colour is, um, it's blue, so it, uh, again, it's more of your throat chakra. So, Brad Blueberry. While I worked, my life happened. Brad Blueberry paints and paints and paints. He has no time for anything other than perfecting his art. An elder Blueberry reminds Brad that one day he will be old and shriveled too. So he'd better live life to the fullest. Brad takes the advice and discovers that having fun enriches and sharpens his art. He finds out that life is what makes work valuable. Your inspiration is, are you waiting to complete your career before you live your life? Busy work may be helping you hide from real issues. Are you working too much? Suffering from burnout? Is there something important that you are avoiding doing? Do you have feelings of inadequacy? Transformation may be indicated, but heed warnings. 
and refresh your mind to improve your work. Your key words for today, my friends, are talent, fun, Friends, oh yes, I'm really, I'm seeing the first card from yesterday, those wonderful three bears, your kindred spirit. So this is a game more surrounding yourself with positive people, with kindred, those soul family that will support you on your wondrous journey. So your meditation, imagine completing something you are excited about. Now stretch your arms out. Become aware that you are floating on water. The water is at the perfect temperature and in harmony with your body. The lady in the lake is holding you. Feel yourself twirling freely and playing in this space. She invites you to relax into her and enjoy. Oh, friends. OK, I'm really feeling here. Throat, throat chakra important because, you know, sometimes we can clam up um, because we, you know, we, we have a truth, but we don't want to offend other people. We don't want to hurt other people's feelings. But sometimes it's quite necessary because in that not wanting to do that to others, we are the ones that end up being hurt. So. I'm hearing today, friend, it is really important to be in your truth. OK, for, for that fair outcome to, to really occur is what the message is from Spirit. OK, here we go. The Magic of Unicorns by Diana Cooper, who I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's call on the beautiful Ruby now, the kind red spirit. Here we go. What is the message from Ruby, the kind red spirit, for my wonderful friends? For Thursday, the 14th of October, 2021. Thank you, Ruby. OK, your card from Ruby, the kind red spirit, is Cosmic Diamond. Number 30, spread hope and joy, illuminate the world. Oh, yes. Uh, of course, 30, um, 3 plus 0 becoming 3. So really being encouraged today, friends, whatever you whatever you mean, say, you say, then that's the action you should be following up, up with if it's in your truth, I am hearing. OK, so Ruby says. Diamond is the solid form of Archangel Gabriel's light. It shimmers with purity, joy, everlasting promise, hope and clarity. A cosmic diamond is a vast, translucent, etheric gem of great power and grace, carrying the qualities of all the colour rays. When unicorns add their energy to it, it raises its frequency to the ninth dimension. When you receive this card, your unicorn and archangel Gabriel will place a cosmic diamond over your energy fields to purify you, raise your light levels. The facets of this ethereal jewel will cut away the lower energies within you. Your guidance is to call it in whenever you need clarity, hope or inspiration. You can do this when you are walking, going about your daily business or meditating. This is a card of higher service and you are asked to use the cosmic diamond illuminated with unicorn energy to help others and the world. Ask Archangel Gabriel and your unicorn to place it over those individuals, communities or even countries that are bewildered and seeking clarity. You can visualise it over situations or places where people need hope, joy, trust and commitment. You can make a difference by picturing it over decision makers so that they make wise, inspired choices for the highest good. Wherever you send it, 
Ask your unicorn to illuminate it so that it glitters with a thousand rainbows to bring new optimism to the world. And to work with your cosmic diamond, Ruby says, relax, be receptive, sense or see a vast cosmic diamond above you. Archangel Gabriel is slowly bringing it down over you. It shimmers with rainbow lights. Your unicorn touches it, activates it with your pure love. And you, you rest within the diamond of purity, joy, oneness and unconditional love. Take a few moments to experience this and send it to people, places and situations that need it. Your affirmation is, a cosmic diamond surrounds me. A cosmic diamond surrounds me. A cosmic diamond surrounds me. Oh yes, my wonderful friend. I love that, Ruby, that this has come under justice. Number 11, the number of illumination. And... um. Oh, Cosmic Diamond friends, <laughs> you are the light of life I am hearing. Wow, wow, wow. OK, we have two. Um, one gold, uh, one silver. So gold, the, um, the colour of the uh, sacred masculine and silver, the colour of the sacred feminine. OK, well, OK, it's just traditional now, isn't it? <laughs> we have our beautiful big gold butterfly uh, again, reminding us and, and showing us that we are. We're in this wonderful. Metamorphosis, thank you, spirit. We are in this wonderful stage of of metamorphosis where we are. Um, we've gone from the caterpillar. We are in the chrysalis, and now we are transforming into these beautiful, beautiful butterflies. Uh, it's going on Ruby's card, and I'm not surprised. Um, oh, friends, um, oh, let your brilliance shine out today. I am hearing. Okay, next we have. Uh, in silver, the uh, colour of the divine sacred feminine, of course, a key, keys lock, keys unlock. Um, oh. And it wants to go on the Queen of Coins. OK, um, helping you um, unlock. Uh, I'm hearing this wonderful inner you. Um, uh, keys are also knowledge, um, power, um, well, doorways, I'm just being given doorways, um, and now I'm being given a card from earlier in the week from the Muse Tarot, where we had that doorway and that gap in between the dominoes, um, You've got the key, friends. You've had it all a lot. Oh, it's almost like Dorothy and the and the red slippers. <laughs> you you had the power all along, friends, to unlock all of the wonderful gifts, to unlock the diamond that is within you. And oh boy, are you letting it shine out with brilliance into the world? Wow! 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 Well, thank you for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome you subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits. Thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails. I really enjoy receiving them. Do keep them coming. And so, my wonderful friends, may favour be with you all as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed day and until next time my friends goodbye